In today's class, we are going to discuss about me and my family, your family. We are going to talk about your family, mommy's family, daddy's family. We are going to discuss. So each member has got a different name. That's what we are going to do today. Alright? So listen attentively when we learn to talk about family. Now, when you say family, all members live in the same house. All live in the same under one roof. Now, when you talk about family, you are talking about family. The family all live under one roof. Now, when you talk about family, there are a lot of things to know deeply into. To understand the relationship of different members in the family. Then there are different types of family. Nuclear family or small family, big family, joint family or extended family. So, Lord, now, what does the family do to us? It gives us security and we learn a lot of values in the family, good things in the family. You learn only good things in the family. So big and small, joint family, all that. Now, the family lives under, I said, one house, one, one roof and all your basic needs are met. What are your basic needs? Food, clothing, shelter. So you have a shelter in your home, mommy gives you, you get food in your home, clothes in your home and many other things, love and so on. So, you live, if I say my name is Ria, I live with my family. Okay, then in the family, who are they? Grandparents. Now when you say family, there are Mommy's side and daddy's side. Now, mommy's grandparents, daddy's grandparents. When you say daddy's grandparents, or you say paternal, daddy's mom and dad, we call paternal grandparents. What are they? Paternal. Paternal grandparents are daddy's side. Okay? Grandparents. Grandparents. Paternal grandparents, that's a daddy side. Now, what about mommy side? Mommy side, we call it maternal. Mother, maternal. Okay? Maternal. So, here you call maternal. Maternal grandparents. Grandparents. So, maternal grandparents are the mommy side. Supposing this is your mommy, this is your mommy. And mommy's parents, you say, this is your mommy. Then you say, mommy's parents are maternal. Now, this is your daddy. Daddy is you call daddy's parents are um, paternal, paternal grandparents. Okay. Now, when you say my father's parents, when you say my father's parents are, they are called paternal grandparents. My mother's parents are maternal grandparents. Now, what do you call your grandparents? You say grandpa, some of them say grandpa, grandma, some of them say nanny and things like. Now, here Ria says, I call my father's parents as Dadaji. Dadaji and Dadaji. So, Dad's, your dad's grandparents, Ria calls them Da Da Ji. Okay, 
and this is your dad. Okay, and she says, this is your mom. And she says, Ria says, she calls her mommy's parents. Okay, she says, I call my mother's parent Nana G. What does she call? Nana G. I call my father's parents first. Dada ji, I call my mother's parents as Nana ji. That's what Dria says. Alright? Then, my paternal grandparents live with my uncle's family. So, paternal grandparents, we do whom they, li they live? Uncle. They live with uncle's family. Now, uncle. Uncle's family. Now, what about here? My uncle is my father's brother. Now, who is this uncle? Uncle is my dad. My dad, my father's brother. Father's brother. Okay, now let's look at what I have done here for you. First of all, family. Family lives under one roof. Okay? You have father, mother or dad, mom. Dad's parents are called, we call them as paternal grandparents and here Rhea calls them Dadaji. Then, uncle. Uncle is dad's brother. Uncle is your dad's brother. Now, Rhea says her mom's grandparent, she calls Mother, grandmother, she calls Nana Ji. Alright? Nana Ji. Now, what do you call then your uncle? What will you call your uncle? Who is your father's brother? You will call your uncle Chacha Ji. What will you call your uncle? Chacha Ji. Chacha Ji. Grandpa, Dada ji. Uncle, Chacha ji. Grandmother, Nana ji. Alright? Now, then, family. Now, this aunt is called an uncle. This uncle is called an aunt. Now, what about aunt? Uncle you call Chacha ji. Then aunt, what will you call? Aunt you call his wife is my, my aunt and I call her again Chacha Ji. Chach Ji. Yeah, Chacha Ji. Okay, and then I am their niece. So Ria, who has got uncle and aunt, Ria becomes the niece of this uncle and aunt. Now, She's got a brother. My brother Rahul is Uncle Sanan nephew. Okay? So Ria becomes the niece. And if they have a she's got a brother Rahul, he becomes their nephew. My uncle's family is a big family. So this uncle has got a very big family. Now, what's the meaning of big family? Okay, when you say big family, you also call it joint family. So you have father, mother, children, aunt, uncle, grandfather, grandmother. That becomes a very big family or joint family. Okay, my mother's brother is also uncle. So mommy has got a brother and is also called an uncle. Mother's brother is also uncle. This is a small family. Now, in the family, dad's brothers, that is uncle, aunt, that belongs to dad. Dad's brother, uncle and aunt, and their children, that is niece, nephew. Okay? So, their children. Now, mommy, now you have dad and mom, uncle and aunt, brother, sister, niece, nephew. Now,
Now, if we have that parent, that is paternal grandparent, that's a tree, paternal grandparent. So, you have paternal grandparent, uncle and aunt, niece and nephew, and then you have dad and mom, brother, sister, baby. So, it becomes a big family. Grandparents, uncles and aunt, niece and nephew, dad and mom, children. So, that is a big family. Now, in the family, what do you learn? What do you, what values you learn? We learn affection for each other, respect for all these people. Okay? Now, grandparents, Grandparent. Now, grandparents need to be taken care of. So, love. You need to respect them. So, you learn love, affection, respect, protection. Children need to be protected. So, uncle and aunt, grandparent, dad and mom, they protect the children. So, you learn protection, sharing. You learn to share the family. You learn to tolerate each other's anger, affection, whatever it is. Then, what is a surname? Surname, you have a name, what comes after that? That's your surname. Alright? You have a surname. So, the last name of a person. Let us say, I call myself Gita. Gita, normally, when you say surname, it's always the father's name or family name. Supposing we say Gida Gala. That can be a family name. So this can be the surname. Or if it is an Anglo-Indian name, you have Rose Arendale. Now, Rose is the name and Arendale that is the surname. That is surname. Okay. The last name of a person is the surname. The first is your own name. It can be family name. It can be father's name. Whatever way you take it. Your name has two parts. Supposing Gida Gala. If she's got two parts. One is your name. The other is your surname. All members of the family have a common surname. Now, this Rose, Rose has got grandparents. They will be called, let's say, Peter, John, and Peter, John, and Jane. They will say Peter Arendale, John Arendale, Jane Arendale, Rose Arendale, like that. So, every family has one surname. That's a family name. Easy to know. Oh, they are Arendales or De Costas or and a name like that. Alright? Now, we learn. What do we learn from the family? We learn lots of good values in the family. Like kindness. To be kind to each other. Honesty. Always telling the truth. Not taking away things from the family or bringing some other thing that doesn't belong to the family. So, we learn many good things in the family. One, honesty, learn to say the truth. Be an honest person. Kindness, kindness to children, kindness to old people, kindness to uncle and so on. Older than you, people older than you can be your brother, dad and mom, uncle, aunt or nieces, nephew, grandparents. All these people need concern and kindness. Then, we learn to work hard in the family. Each one has got to work. Not letting uncle do all the work or mom and dad do all the work. You also have to contribute. So, you learn to do your work, not only your homework, but you learn to take care of your things, keep it neatly and things so on. Our mother teaches us, the family custom, not only really mother and father, uncle and aunt, grandma, um, paternal grandparents and maternal grandparents, they all teach you customs and values 
of the family. Okay, so you learn a lot of things. Then some of the things that we learn from our family are sharing with all. You may have something, maybe just some sweet. Share with all. You have a storybook. Learn to share with your niece and nephews. Respecting elders, daughter back to them, be polite to them, nice to them, help them in when a, whatever they need. Get them a glass of water or get their uh, room tidied. Good habits, getting up early, having a bath, keeping your room neatly, going to school on time, all good habits, okay, you learn in the family. Customs and values are taught by the parent, traditions are caught and also taught in the family very nicely. Our family teaches us what is right, what is wrong. You can do this. You cannot do that. You can do this, 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 but don't take other people's things and bring it home. You must learn to be respectful. So family teaches us, trains us for adulthood. Trains us. Okay. Now what else family do together? Together as a family, they have family functions, birthdays, you go to temples, churches, Together, you go for picnic as a family, alright? And then you go for summer, winter, whatever short, long holidays. Take your grandparents, uncle, niece and nephews. You go for a vacation and enjoy together. So, the holy places, picnic places, what else? Cinemas, entertainment, you go as a family, either small or big. Or with the extended family. You go shopping with the family. Supposing there is a birthday or a wedding or a party. You want to buy some dresses or you want to pick up some things for the party. So shopping together. What about some days your parents decide to go out for a dinner. So you go as a family for a dinner. Festival. You collect all your maternal Paternal and maternal grandparents, uncles and aunts, and friends and neighbors, everybody comes together. So it's a large gathering. Why? Celebrating festival. So what are the things we learned today? Family. We love, spoke about family, father, mother, children. That's a nuclear family, small family. Then we learn big family when we include grandparents. Then when we include uncles and aunts and nieces and nephews, it becomes an extended family. Now, fathers, dads, parents are called paternal grandparents. Moms' grandparents are called maternal. Then we learn values in the family. We learn to respect. We learn traditions. We learn customs. We learn what is right and wrong in the family.